The district attorney's office is looking into allegations that a rape suspect is contacting his victim from behind bars. That is what the grandmother of one of the victims is saying about 41-year-old Jeremy Guthrie. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked to that grandmother today. She's here this evening with details. Well, we have screenshots of messages. The grandmother says Guthrie sent her twin granddaughters over Instagram from jail. Now, it's possible someone else may be behind that account, but all of this is still enough for detectives in the DA's office to look into. You have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. When police arrested 41-year-old Jeremy Guthrie for driving drunk with six kids in the car on July 5th, that was the first time the grandma of two of those kids says she learned about Guthrie. And then I got a call that they were all in the car. Uh, there were six, six of them and was with this guy. And so I, I had no clue. She soon learned police charged Guthrie with raping one of her 13-year-old twin granddaughters. The grandma says the girl was impregnated by Guthrie and suffered a miscarriage when she was just 12 years old. Makes me sick and I'm livid to what he did to my granddaughters and he's just a very, very sick person. Now the grandma claims Guthrie is messaging her granddaughters from MDC. She first learned of the messages on Monday night. I was over where my, one of my granddaughters was and she told my other granddaughter that he had contacted her. She sent us these screenshots. She says is Guthrie messaging one of her granddaughters. He asked for money. The grandma says she even asked her granddaughter to send this to see how far he'd go. She told her granddaughter to write, I ran away and asked him to pick her up. He writes back, quote, and how am I supposed to do that when I'm in jail? He is in jail. How the heck is all this happening when he's in jail like that's just that's crazy through the granddaughter the grandma asks how he's messaging from jail guthrie says he paid to use a guard's phone the grandma claims he also threatened her granddaughters she says the messages stopped when the granddaughter wrote police knew he was talking to them parents check your kids social media accounts their gaming stuff uh, you never, yeah, I never thought in a million years that this would happen to my family, and it is. Now, we asked MDC how it would be possible for an inmate to do this. A spokesperson says inmates do not have access to social media, and they are looking into these accusations. Back to you. Annalisa, thank you. The grandmother says the girls know Guthrie after he reached out to them on Snapchat at least a year ago. Prosecutors believe there may be two other victims of Guthrie's. He has a pretrial detention hearing tomorrow to see whether he will stay behind bars until his trial.